Oh, uh, graveyards are cool. I don't know. One more try. God damn it, Bob. I nearly had it. I nearly had it. You saw. I nearly had it. You always nearly have it. That's the thing. That's why it's frustrating. You gotta stop. You're just hurting yourself. That was what I was trying to do. I walked by a table. But, okay. <laughs> and they were just talking about... It was this guy that was, like, douchey, and he kept, like, interrupting me to, like, be funny kind of guy. Right. Which is my yep. worst, like, my least favorite table. Yep, no, that guy. Like, yeah. Like, I'm your server. I'm not your audience. <laughs> Please calm down. And I'm, I'm trying to help you. Um, and I walked by him, and he was like, yeah, my dad made, like, $150,000 a year. I was like, did he? Fascinating. That's a fun thing that happened last night. Anyway, with Pokemon Go, so I was on the... <laughs> anyway, Leon, your story's boring. <laughs> I'm the interrupting funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, you can be the interrupting funny guy until it's like... Um, so tell me about these ramens. Well, uh, all the ramens are made with the same uh, pork bone based ramen. Did you know ramen is noodles? So when you're saying ramen noodles, you're saying noodle noodles? <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. That's real good. Uh, so anyway, to answer the question that you just- Noodle noodles! I- I want to help you, sir. <laughs> Can I please- uh, <laughs> Noodles. Okay, I'm just gonna let you play roulette with the menu. <laughs> just close your eyes and point at something, and that's what you're gonna eat. I can't talk to you anymore. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, a secret. Secret. But, so I was on the bus one day, and my phone had died because on the bus to work, I had played Pokemon Go. Uh -huh. I planned poorly. Uh -huh. And so- What the fuck is that balloon? I don't remember a, him. That's a balloon. Scary ass balloons? Why are balloons like scary? Why is that boo Oh, sad? Who blindfolded that boo? I don't know. You have the balloons in- it, and then you have Drift Balloon, which I think is a scary Pokemon because you can only catch it at like nighttime or something on Fridays, and like it has a backstory of like a child died. <laughs> Just a child died. Yeah, no, it, like if the the backstory of Drift Balloon is literally like child is is dead, um, and in its place is this balloon child. Pokemon. Oh, you got all twenty. Good. Congratulations. I'm good. I'm good, Liana. I'm proud of you. I did. You did great work. I did. I did. I did good. Um. Yeah, balloons are scary, except for our special average balloon. Oh yeah, he's a nice balloon. But it's weird how they, they, like balloons are just so innocuous. It's just like rubber filled with air. But if you put them in a horror setting, it works so well, and I don't understand why. Right. Maybe because they're just so happy. Yeah, I was, I was on the bus, and my phone had died, and literally everyone on the bus was playing Pokemon. And a lot of these were, like, people who were, like, of the age where they should be playing Pokemon, not, like, 27-year-old me's. I mean, that's who's playing Pokemon, though. Right. <laughs> everyone at my restaurant is obsessed with Pokemon. There's actually a, a mini, uh, a mini coup happening. I need okay. to stop leaning back. <laughs> God damn it, we're terrible at this. Um, lean back. Lean back. The a couple of the managers are uh, super into Pokemon, and for like the first couple days that Pokemon came out, they were right. playing it at, at work at times that even I thought were pretty inappropriate. <laughs> like, set down your phone, please. Yeah. And uh, one manager is a little bit too against Pokemon Go. He's kind of that like old man yells at cloud situation. Oh, sure. Uh, where he's just like, ah, this is something that I don't get, and it's not for me. I hate it. Why would you do it? Why? I don't. Ugh. I mean, he's not that bad, but he's. Warm why are we mind. not always for? Why are we not always about me? <laughs> he was talking about. Oh, he said, I shouldn't talk shit about my manager. I love him very much. I love you, Tyler. But he was like saying, I already have my favorite games: checking email and BBC. <laughs> um, bless his little heart. But he saw the other manager go out to catch something. She was like, she was on the clock, but she didn't really have much to do at the time besides do manager closings. And you know, she just jumped out for a second. It's not something I would have done. But watching 
the old man yells at Cloud Manager, run after her was like the funniest thing in my life. Because he ran outside like he saw something dangerous. <laughs> like he needed to save the day. <laughs> he just ran outside to yell at her. I was like, I gotta go somewhere else right now. This is gonna get ugly. And then I went home. Whoa. Yeah. Get what's in here, but it's probably gonna be helpful. What is this stage? This is like a Lakitu stage. Lakitu? Lakitu! Hold up, hold up, hold up. You fucked up! <laughs> Fucked up so bad. You did it bad, Nana! You sure did. You did it bad! You did a real bad thing. Yeah. So on the bus, there were Pokemon Go. Uh-huh. And everyone was playing it. And the and like the first thing that I would like to note is that um this was the 11, so there are like, you know, more black people than on the average bus, and I didn't want to be there when these people saw Jinx for the first time. Huh. <laughs> because that's a bad time. Yeah, that's a racist ass Pokemon. That is very racist. That we should and get I'm sure, rid of. I'm sure that, like, Japan was like, oh no, it's like an adorable little, like, thing. No, no, that's, that's Sambo. That's, we, we, don't, yep. we can't have that. Yeah. We can't have that, Japan. Yeah. Uh, Asia's relationship. <laughs> With black people. I can't imagine it's great. <laughs> it's Okay, so like, you know, think of all the racist bullshit that we do here. But we know the history behind it and um Choose to ignore we, it. <laughs> some people choose to ignore it, uh, ignore it, but I think the vast majority of people in America are like, you know, if you make a like a sambo like character and put it we'll in a notice. child's... Uh, yeah, we'll notice and um, we'll scream at you until you take it down. So what happens with Asia is that they see our media and black media and portrayals of, of um, black people and like hip-hop and whatnot and they kind of appropriate it um, and you see that with like Jinx so they kind of know but they have zero understanding or respect for race relations and the terrible history that we have in this country and so they're just like whatever it's fine and they don't understand yeah. the amount of k-pop stars that have used the n-word or actually put on blackface good 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 is baffling yes <laughs> and uh they're 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 not gonna stop because international fans will be like whoa whoa Whoa! And they're like, what are you mad about? It's fine. Yes. We saw that in television. Yeah. It's you did this. You guys did this. We <laughs> learned this from you. For sure. It's good time. It's it's embarrassing and terrible. Yeah. Oh, G-Dragon. Oh, YG in general. YG is this, um... Have I? I've explained K-pop to you, like how you I. You have. Yeah, it's like the Disney was, Channel. And also, YG is a like American rapper. No, I mean yes, he is, but yeah. like that's not what I'm talking about. But that is very confusing for me because <laughs> YG was um like a hip hop K-pop company. Just a refresher for everyone else. Uh, the way K-pop works is very much like old Hollywood or what kind of like what Disney is today, where you have a company that you belong to and right. that is actually part of your brand so even today Miley Cyrus is like a Disney star and uh, Selena Gomez is a Disney star and then there's like certain stars we haven't had them break out from Disney yet but if you were younger you'd know like who Disney stars are yeah and they do like songs together and um, they like sing and act and it's this whole big production <clears throat> so YG is um, a company like that uh, and they specialize in hip hop and um, their, uh, their, their understanding in their relationship with American uh, hip hop culture that, that comes from uh, African American culture is dodgy at best and my favorite was this uh, uh, music video by an artist called CL who from what I understand is basically an army brat like she's not right. somebody who grew up on the streets, but all they do is like they see the imagery in hip hop and they just use it without any understanding. So they'll you'll see like shoes on phone lines. <laughs> um, that's fine. Yeah, that's cool. And uh, and in this particular video, I think that was the one with uh, the shoes on the phone line. And I think this is for um, 
Bad Girl or whatever that song is called. I don't remember. No one likes that song. Um, CL is at one point shown with gold grills. And I was just like, y'all are from South Korea where you have international health care. Yeah. <laughs> you can get your teeth fixed and cleaned any time that you would like. Why? Nobody should be wearing gold grills in any kind of Korean video. That's, you don't get what's happening here. It was awkward. Being a, <laughs> being a K-pop fan is a lot of just kind of ignoring that you're actually a fan of something that uh, promotes, like, anorexia and right. uh, overworking. I'm gonna flop this. Yeah, yeah, you haven't hit him once. I have hit him once. Look at his... Look at the quarter empty health oh, bar. Looks like you I hit did. him twice. I hit. My, yes, I did hit him twice. Don't play that back. I hit him <laughs> twice. <laughs> I did good job. <laughs> did good job. Liana? You um you always do a good job. I did good job. I, I, great every day. Every day. Thank is, you. You did great. These stages are so ugly. I mean, they're probably pretty if you're not playing the. Uh, no, Wii even U as a kid, I would hate the yeah, the Wii U port of the Game Boy port of Yoshi's Island because obviously that makes the most sense. Yeah. How should we do this, Nintendo? We should just port the uh, SNES version to. No. Nope! I think like the SNES version like has that special chip. What special chip? Like the VX chip. Huh? Should... Yeah, like there's like a specific graphic chip. That like made the Yoshi Island style as well as like the Donkey Kong Country style possible. Uh huh. I can't remember what it's called, but it, it exists. What about it? Like it's a specific graphics chip that like only exists on the Super Nintendo or like for Super Nintendo cards. Oh. So, so I don't know if like that complicates things. I can't see how because it's only 16 colors. <laughs> like I, it should still be fine. Right. I don't know. I don't know anything about technology, so. I don't either. Ooh! Boop, boop, boop. Those are so satisfying when they disappear. Yay! Okay. Yay! I don't think I, I missed out the flowers. You did, that's fine. We're not doing a perfect run. We're just finishing it. We're just doing what we can do. We're just trying real hard and. Ooh! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I, I was even impressed with myself on that one. That was nice. Yeah. It's good. Oh, oh, fuck you! Fuck you, Bob! You cost us everything! Everything! I didn't do bad. You did a bad job. You did bad. Bad job, Bob. And then the other thing on the bus. Uh -huh. now, this is like a hot mess wow. of a thing. I know, we are so we are bad at telling stories. Over. We can tell stories when we play Pokemon because Pokemon is just hitting A all the time. This is a new level in yeah, us we, trying to master the art of video game We have to concentrate. Talk. I'm trying not to die. Uh, so the other thing with Pokemon Go is that um, I go way back with Pokemon because I saw like the decrease in popularity. Like, you know, when Generation 1 came out, it was everyone. When Generation 2 came out, it was me and the Asian kids. <laughs> and then Generation 3 happened, and I... So, the full story is that, like, I didn't know that no one was going to be buying Generation 3 when I bought the pre-order. Uh -huh. So I still bought the pre-order, and then I didn't realize that, um... It was that the game would come out on a Wednesday, and that on Wednesdays I was at church with the uh, with the girl I had a crush on, and that and you know like you're in eighth grade and you're like, oh well maybe she doesn't like me. I don't know like what's happening with this. This is all new and exciting. So um, we're talking and we're having a good time, and mom comes into the youth pastor's office and says. <laughs> Okay, Bob, let's go. And she and she asks, Oh, well, where are you going? Why are you leaving this place with me? And I say, Oh, I'm going to Target. And, <laughs> you know, I'm hoping that she think, that she fills in the blank with, I'm buying those music CDs we love so much. <laughs> Trapped. <laughs> and then she asks, well what's, at, well, what's at Target? And I don't know why I chose to be honest. Uh -huh. Maybe it's because, like, we're in the house of the Christian God, and even though I don't believe, <laughs> I feel it would be improper to lie. Respect. Yeah, so I say, oh, I'm buying Pokemon, and I just see everything like affection drain from her eyes Aww. in real time. 
and everyone on the bus but me is playing Pokemon <laughs> in this moment. I live this shit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. At least, you know, now that you're older. Uh, so we went to church in kind of like the rich people area. Like yes. We went to church with like a news anchor. Um, even though we were, we were basically, um, the cute poor family. Yeah. At our church. Oh, from the park! Oh! What's it like? We got to go to, like, retreats and stuff for free. Like, every, someone would donate money so we could right. go, like, to church Jesus camp and stuff. Uh, which is very, very kind, and that's, uh, something I'll Wrecked. never forget. Because I, I had a lot of fun at, uh, church Jesus camps and whatnot. Yeah. Um, so thank you to all those people. That, um, is a big heart. Yeah. But... Shout out to everyone. Uh, 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 a lot of those, a lot of those people were kind of, uh, uh, bratty, bratty kids. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did date someone from church, but it was different. <laughs> Very different. Um, uh, because uh, she was a lady. She, so that kind of, uh, gave her a little bit more of a understanding of, a uh, the way the real world works <laughs> than maybe, uh, the, the girl, uh, brother was pursuing. Right. I hope he's doing all right. Yeah. She's just having a good time wherever she is. She's a she's a lot of my secret question answers. That's good. That's how I remember her today. Who's your first uh, boyfriend slash girlfriend? That's uh that's our relationship. Yeah. Let me just yeah. type in a question for you now. She's a secret question. That's a bond that can never be broken. I hope she knows that wherever she is, girl, baby girl, you must secret question. Whoa. Oh, then you made the friends! Yay! 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 Santa Claus, shy guys! Oh my god! Oh, he respawned. Oh! oh! Wait. I think it'll. Yield... Oh! <gasps> That's. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Where'd where the other one go? He exploded! He exploded? Anna! How did he explode? Anna exploded! Oh, what the hell? There he is! <laughs> Go back oh. there! <laughs> it's just gone. Whoa, what the fuck? What? No! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Who put oh, him no. there? Who put him there? Did, what did he do? Free him! Pow the ground! Pow the ground! No! We can't leave him there! He's in I his guess, own eternal hell! I guess we just had to accept that hell <laughs> exists in York Island. Oh no! No! I'm so sorry! I want the. I have to because I want flour. And I don't know how else to do. What do you think he did? To get set? Do you think he's afraid? I don't want to think about shy guy crimes. <laughs> I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. No. Oh, shy guy rape. <laughs> I don't know how to riff on that. <laughs> Neither do That's I. It's too terrible. I don't want to think about how that would work. Whatever, just shy guy larceny. That's, uh, that's, that's as far as we're gonna take it today. Oh, shy guy on coke. That's how they make booze. He overdosed on shy guy coke. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. I gotta stop. Let's let's, let's make the cr the shy guy cry more innocent than rape. <laughs> I think we can start with that before we can think about this again. No, I like it being really dark and terrible. Shy guy murder suicide. <laughs> oh, why did you just not get that red coin? What the fuck? <laughs> I thought I could do it. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna eat him. I think if you jump on him, you give him coins. So which red coin did I not get? I got the coin. There was a red coin that was just like hanging which, out. Which one? Oh, you like, did a whole bunch of stuff and it was like hanging out. Maybe it wasn't a red coin. I don't know. Don't listen to me. You're fine. You're okay. fine. I ground pounded that post though, so. Yeah, that's good. Thank God. What were we gonna do without you ground pounding I, that I post? had to. Uh, maybe that's what you're referring to. God, God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Don't get the flower then. Okay, okay, fine, fine. I, why would you even go under there just to get hit by a little spiky guy and then like, give up? I wanted coins. <laughs> but no, we'll get. Fucking flower, Why did you want coins and not stars? We need them. Keep running God damn it! <laughs> Robert! Thank God we got those stars, though. Well, now 
we got like a net worth of, of three after you run into that spiky guy again. <laughs> also, we lost that egg. That egg is just gone. <laughs> oh, I got that right before it would indeed spawn. Great. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wasn't so lucky that time. You only get one. He's coming with me. <laughs> or I killed him. <laughs> it's fine. I guess I don't know why it, we're like so Together disturbed. In <laughs> <laughs> we're like so disturbed by that like uh uh shy guy who's trapped, but we've been eating them and like converting them into eggs and then throwing the eggs away over and over again. This is a very dark situation. Want to be a car? You don't have to be a car. That's right. Sweet ass trick. Holla. Don't run into the spikies. I'm trying not to. Did you not you see? idiot! What did I, I tell thought you? I had enough. We lost two seconds. I clip. Now you're a car. I'm so sorry. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to be cool. Well, I guess well, I can. I guess I can do that. I guess that's nice. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I forgot about the car. Yeah, it's a nice car, I guess. Oh my god, did you see? I, I like reposted it on Tumblr. Oh, Robert, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm having fun. I hate with a you. The video game. Oh, look at those big. Yeah, I got rolls of coins. Um, apparently, those eggs don't exist outside this level. <laughs> Um, on top of there, somebody drew a picture of, like, a little, little, like, gross alien, and then it okay. sees a car, and it crawls into the car, and it makes that car the car from Cars. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this! <laughs> yeah. If I, if I, uh, catch that I need to do this, maybe I'll put the, uh, picture up and a link to the source. Yeah. Um, it was brilliant and explained everything. <laughs> All of the questions we've had for so many years. About the cars universe. How did it happen? Why? How does this work? No, I guess it doesn't really matter if we die, cause we just look at all of our lives. We have way too many lives. We're what never gonna die. Happen? We're never gonna die, die. <clears throat> no, die, die. I Mech love. I want to start like I don't know a glossary or something of all like the weird. Terms. Yeah, let's start the Walsh wiki. Not the While Walsh we have 16 subscribers on YouTube. Not necessarily, but like as a whole, like all families have like they have the dumb things that they would call like the extra life mushrooms. Right. Everyone calls that something different. We call them one ups. I think that's pretty standard, but even so, there's like variations. Get it? Uh, like a life is another one. Um, and yeah, if you run out of lives, in hard like, family language, that is, you die-die. Um, versus just regular die. Uh, and I just think those terms are really cute, and I want to know, like, what everyone's family is called their, their stuff. It's like, it's like an intense version of, of Pacifier. Everyone has a different name for Pacifier. Right. We're big on Passy, which is the cutest. I think some names for Pacifier sound super gross. I'm, I'm glad that you remembered what we call Pacifier. Passy. Yeah, well, I, like, I would I would have never have known that we had a unique name for pacifier. A lot of people call them like Nook or Nubbin, which are both are gross. Okay, <laughs> Nook is more acceptable than Nubbin. Yeah, Nubbin's Nubbin is, not okay. Nubbin was what they called Chandler's third nipple. Yep, sure was. It's I mean, a pacifier is a very you know frankly nipple centric situation. Uh, it it calms the baby because it's meant to you know. Yeah. To, uh, it's it's a booby. One of those things. Yeah, and, and anyway. I, I mean, know. it's also like sucking is like calming or whatever, but you know, they kind of look like nipples because they're boobies. Yeah. Like, babies love boobies. Your boob supplements. Which is fine. Like, babies should love boobies. Grown ass men, maybe should calm down about boobies. Uh, hey, you got the boobs and the wings. And Football. 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 Uh. I should talk about the important crossroads that I'm at because I have been in three fantasy leagues for the past couple years, and I think three is like the acceptable number of fantasy leagues before, like the last acceptable number of fantasy leagues. Uh -huh. Like you can have two cats, you can have three fantasy leagues. <laughs> yep, I agree. And oh, screwed up. 
I just went down there for a second. Oh, cute! I forgot about this. Oh no. Uh, how do I control it? What the oh. fuck happened? Well, you get another chance. No, no, I don't, because it was a cloud oh. thing. I, I I can't be blamed for that. I was pressing what I thought were the right directions. I wasn't paying attention. It was more great gameplay by B Dubs. B Dubs. B Dubs. Proud of you. Yeah. Anyway, uh, god damn it. Nate, <laughs> Set the gamepad down. So I've been in three fantasy leagues, and one of them was like the Target Fantasy League, and th it's now in a, a Target Alumni Fantasy League because none of us work there anymore. Right. And so I'm like rejoining that league. But now, if I want to connect with some of my coworkers. <laughs> Such as I have them in my lonely pit. Uh -huh. um, I ha I would have to join a fourth fantasy league, and I don't know how to feel about that. I feel like you know what. So I have two cats. That's a great number of cats. I would really like a dog one day when I'm in more of a like control of my life. Maybe if I uh, am ever working from home oh. creatively, right? I'd like a dog. That's a lot for one person. That's basically that's. I mean, yeah, the animals outnumber the human, yeah. uh, and I live in a in kind of a zoo right now because I have two cats. Right. But a lot of that is just like I got stuff to do. They don't. They need buddies. It, it's fine. It makes sense. If I had a dog on top of that, that's a little rough. Yeah. But you know what? You, you, you need to take care of a dog. To, but the thing is, I'm not worried about you know the social the social ramifications. Right. Of such a choice. Um, because I have been reading high fantasy books since I was 11. <laughs> sure. Because I had glasses, um, before I hit the double digits. Um, I have curly hair that I didn't know how to deal with until maybe even just uh, a year ago. Right. Um, that is a mousy shade of brown. Um, I'm not good at dressing myself. This is who I am, Bob. <laughs> I am the sort of I suppose person. I am wearing a t-shirt that I bought for for a podcast. <laughs> I we both listen to podcasts yeah. like a lot. Uh, <clears throat> we uh we're we're the sort of people where I might have two cats and a dog, maybe some small animals one day, because I'm a vegan, bisexual, right. yeah. fucking curly haired, glasses wearing nerd face. You are who you are. We are who yeah. Hashtag Kesha, we are who we are. We are who we are, and you're the kind of guy that eh, might be in four fantasy leagues. Yeah. It's okay. I, 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 I'd like to not be that guy as long as possible, though. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Embrace it. If there's one thing I've learned in the three years of life I've enjoyed that you will never enjoy with me or be on my level because I'm older than you, haha, uh -huh. um, is that... Okay. <laughs> Just don't give a fuck. Just be who you right. are. You got stuff that you want to do. 